The ideal candidate for diaphragm pacing is a patient with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease who's experiencing chronic hypoventilation or difficulty breathing, whose diaphragm still works as assessed by nerve studies or different fluoroscopic tests that we can use. The purpose of this system is to retrain the diaphragm and to catch people earlier in their disease and try to prevent the atrophy or the dying of the diaphragm as the disease progresses. I came to Stony Brook and found that there were a team in place that had been working 10 years together and that's an incredibly reassuring thing when you come and you're looking for answers and, and, your, and your physical uh, abilities have changed. You want to see the same person. You don't want to see a new registered nurse every time you go to a clinic. You want to see the same people, same faces, and that's what I get here at Stony Brook. I get reassurance that they're listening, and the last time I was here, they knew exactly what I was dealing with, and now they know the difference. There's approximately a three-year life expectancy from diagnosis, and you have a device that in certain populations can extend life, not just quantity, but quality, for almost 16 months. So I can't wake up every morning wondering whether I'm going to die. I have to wake up every morning wondering how I'm going to live with it. And that's a big thing I think patients need to know. Really, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite an interesting device. Um, I'm actually very happy that someone decided to use it for ALS. So at the end of the case, when uh, he woke up, the tube came right out and he gave us two thumbs up going out into the recovery room. It was like, I couldn't sleep for, I told you I couldn't sleep for a week. Like everything just felt better. Yeah, it was good. Well, it's very exclusive. It was just FDA approved in 2011. There's two other centers that are doing it in New York, but they're mainly for investigational, not treatment purposes. And we're the only center that offers this essentially between Philadelphia and Boston. Uh, other institutions doing this are Massachusetts General Hospital, Johns Hopkins, Stanford, and I'm really excited that we could bring this to Stony Brook to help our ALS population.